There's a residency issue in the race to re represent District 1 on the Vigo County School Board. One of the candidates filed an address that actually is in District 4. New for you tonight on Nightwatch News 10's Kit Hanley explains how this happened and what it could look like moving forward. Vigo County School Board District 1 candidate Carrie Labella says her opponent, Eric Graves, does not live in District 1. She says that the address he filed is in Lost Creek Township. That's in District 4. I just wanted the voters to be informed of the misfiling and to make that decision when they went to the ballot. Graves said the map he found online put him in District 1. Mistakes happen, and it's unfortunate that nothing can be done about it. I'm still at least going to campaign. I'm going to get the talking points out there that I think are important for our community and move forward. The deadline to challenge the filing has already passed, and Vigo County Clerk Brad Newman tells me with that being the case, nothing can be done until after the election. Newman said in a statement, quote, It's been made very clear to the clerk's office from the Indiana Election Division that regardless of the circumstances, we are to accept the candidate filings. The exact comment to us is that we are not the election police. Moving forward, Newman says that if Graves wins, he can remain the District 1 representative. That's only if no one challenges it through the challenge appeal process. However, LaBella tells me she plans on filing a lawsuit if Graves does win. If for some reason I were not to get the votes, um, I will have to go to court. Graves tells me he will continue to represent District 1 until election law experts tell him otherwise. Reporting in Vigo County, Kit Hanley, News 10.